everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be creating a magazine collage celebrating our achievements, um, which is really important. So I'm starting off in my uh, Large Tina Wakely journal. And these are actually two pages I created for my collage fundamentals magazine collage class. So if you haven't um, seen that or heard about that, check out in the description box below because um, I do have a link to the class showing you, it's basically showing you what we do in this um, page but obviously in a lot more detail and how to find the images and how to do the backgrounds and so on. But the reason I wanted to include this on my page is because a lot of people ask me why I art journal and I art journal for a whole range of different reasons. Mainly it's to my relaxation, it's to have fun, it's my me time that I can just go in my studio, tune out and just do something that I find really relaxing. But a lot of other times when I'm uh, art journaling, um, it's for my mental health I suppose. So if I've got something really bothering me or worrying me, I also go into my, my art journal and go and um, sort of write down my worries or, you know, paint out my frustrations or do whatever I need to do. But the third type of art journaling I do is actually to document what's going on in my life. So to use it a little bit more like a written diary journal than um, a visual journal. But I find it really... I, I find it really difficult just to write in a normal journal. I need to have the visual imagery. Um, to keep myself interested in wanting to do it. So I do look back at my teenage diaries that I started writing full of angst and then think, oh, you know, I wish I'd just paint over the top of that. So this is why I'm doing this page. Um, for those of you who've followed me for a little while, I'll know that a few years ago, once I was doing the 100 day project, I challenged myself to the fact that if I could do the 100 days project of doing art journals, why couldn't I try and do 100 days of exercise? So it was changing my attitude, I suppose, a little bit and just making it more consistent. So I have been trying and not necessarily successful all the time to at least get in half an hour of exercise every day in some way, shape or form trying to look after myself and so on. And this page is a bit of a celebration because after, well actually I don't think I've ever fitted in them before. So this is my first pair of size 12 jeans. So I used the tag for my jeans, I used the, um, the size label on it, um, do, did the uh, picture which I still don't look anything like I have to say but you know she's rocking a nice pair of jeans so that's why I put her in here as well and I just wanted to have somewhere visual to celebrate my success um, to say yep you worked hard and you did this so the title I put for my page is small goals because um, it was it was a goal of mine to try and get smaller and you know obviously I still need to do a lot of work but at least it um, is a step in the right direction. So with my page I'm doing what I usually do with my fonts is I'm writing out with my paint pen first finding out the spacing and then I'm going back in and actually adding on some flourishes and so on to see what fits on my page to make it look a little bit more interesting and to fill up the gaps a little bit more so it actually fills in that space somewhat. With the magazine image I had, you saw me adding some extra paint pen and additional um, doodling over the top, additional colours to it just to again make it look a little bit more interesting. The borders you can see on the page are made from just uh, cut up bits of collage that I had lying around in my studio and then putting some extra paint pens over the top. So just having lots of fun using my scraps and so on. Like I do with a lot of my fonts, um, I'm going in and I am highlighting it. For this one, instead of just doing it on one side, I'm actually highlighting the entire letter just to make it look really pop out from the background. And I like changing it up a little bit when I do different pages so it made it um, work well for me. The other thing that I really liked about the setup of this page I suppose is 
but it is actually set up much more like a journal page in the fact I've got the title at the top and then I've got the space down the bottom that I can actually do my writing in. You can see me put some pink around the uh, letters at the top and I really didn't like it and again one of the reasons why I love using paint pens is because just like acrylic paints they are permanent when set so the below layers of black and white were set and permanent on my page so with the pink while it was still wet I was able to get a wet wipe out and just go over the top and get rid of the excess pink that I didn't want. I did decide I wanted some extra colour in it though so instead of doing a pink outline I decided to fill it up with little dots dots and make it more of a marquee look on the page. So I actually did want to do some journaling about my journey and why this page is important and why celebrating my success I suppose. So I've drawn out some wavy lines on the bottom of the page and then I'm just doing some block lettering to write in what I wanted to write on this page. The reason I love writing like this on my journal pages is while it is still readable, like if you sat down with my journal, you could read what I've written here, but sort of in passing by, it just looks more like texture or pattern work in the background. So it's not totally obvious straight up that it's, it's you know, something that you have to sit down and read. One of the things I used to find really frustrating, because I love adding text to my um, pieces of work, is when people sort of stop looking at the imagery and actually just try and work out what it's, the text is saying. So by writing in this way, I suppose, it's in, incorporating the writing a little bit more into the image imagery on the page, which I really love. So this is a really, really simple page, um, but it means a lot to me. And I think it's really important for us to celebrate us in our journals and make it about us because why else are we doing it you know it's we art journal for so many different reasons um, as I said before most of the time it's for me just you know playing around playing with new samples playing with new um, supplies but for some reasons it's actually to celebrate what we're supposed to be doing with ourselves. So I added some stickers, you're capable of coming more, you realise today is a good day. And that day was a great day, I was very, very happy. So I hope that you challenge yourself perhaps to celebrate something really good that's going on in your life um, and include it in your journal as something really positive you can go back and have a look at and go, hey, I did that, I achieved that goal um, and this is how I felt about it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.